This week's Market Monitor has some high-quality growth names. He says they may give you some downside protection if economic growth slows. The last time he was on was November in 2017, and he picked Nike, which is up 43 percent, MasterCard up 36 percent, and Cognizant Technology Solutions is up 5 percent. He is Alan Vaughn, co-portfolio manager of the Jensen Quality Growth Fund, which is up 9 percent so far this year. Welcome back. Thank you. Congratulations on those previous picks. Thanks. So you are giving us a little downside protection in case the economy turns a little bit south. Um, and they're interesting names. The first one, basically, we're going to go to Pfizer. And it's, it's a global play as well. Sure. So Pfizer is a global biopharmaceutical company with a wide-ranging drug portfolio. And we, we think that's a real key distinction for Pfizer. We think it limits their exposure and their risk to any one specific drug. And as we look at the, drug, the company's drug pipeline, we think it's a bit underappreciated. And we expect uh, revenue for Pfizer to accelerate as some of those drugs in the pipeline are converted to sales over the next few years. Then there's Amphenel, which is an interesting play. You know, you're, it, we're all going to fiber optics and we've got cables and everything. This does all of that, doesn't it? Right. So, you know, Amphenol is a bit of an under-the-radar company, but they're a real key part of the supply chain for electronic manufacturers around the world. They make electronic components that go into mobile devices, into automotive electronics, into aircraft electronics. And we really think that positions them very well for the trend we're seeing in which electronics are really proliferating across the economy and across the globe. Mm -hmm. And next we go to your final pick, which is 3M also a global play, but you also point out the dividend. It's paid a dividend for more than 100 years. It's raised the dividend payment for 60 consecutive years. So it's an income play as well. Yeah, so, you know, 3M is, is generally thought of as an industrial conglomerate. And we think that's a bit of a misnomer because they get a meaningful amount of business from consumer and healthcare end markets. And we think that really helps to dampen the, the earnings volatility we might otherwise see. A uh, company has some long-standing competitive advantages, in, including the strength of their brands and their manufacturing mm -hmm. and new product development expertise. And like you mentioned, 3M is an excellent producer of cash, and they have an incredible dividend history that we think uh, is, is very well positioned to continue. On that note, Alan, thank you so much. Have a great weekend. See you again thank soon. Thank you. Alan Bond with the Jensen Quality Growth Fund.